hello you too hello hello all souls first let's give all honors to our father to the son and the holy spirit which is the father and one is one however he did it that's his way of doing it i just go by the word i don't take from the word i don't try to make others not want to read the word. I was born English. My language is English. I learned, you know, I tried to learn Hebrew, which is tough because I, I wasn't grown up on Hebrew. I was grown up in English. Now, as long as you know that our Father in Heaven is not the God of this world, you know the Father is the Great I Am, the God of Israel, um, Java, Jehovah Java, your Father, our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. As long as you know that He died on the cross, risen for our sins, He went on the cross for our sins. As long as you know the real truth. I know I, I, I look at a lot of videos and they say the Holy Bible, the King James Version been tampered with and whatever, whatever. I'm going to just say it like this. I read it. I read others. I, I just don't read the King James. I read a lot of other ones when I have the time. I'm not going degrade and no word as long as it's holy and it talks about the father i'm with it if you read whatever you read read it I, I i will not stop you but i don't want on that day the father said well you just told people don't follow my word and you told them leave this word alone leave that word alone look read what you read speak what you speak as long as it comes together and it's about our father and his son I'm all with it I'm not going to take from the word nor I'm going to add to it I'm not going to do so as long as we know that our father went on that cross through his only begotten son and defeated Satan and we can overcome we can overcome if you're baptized with the Spirit. We are now a chosen priesthood. The ones that's really born again by the Spirit. We are now part of the body of Christ. We are now new creatures. The old things have passed away, meaning we are no longer living in the flesh. We no longer living in the desires and the lust of the flesh. We are now walking by faith, not by sight. We're no longer part of this world. We were pulled out of darkness into his light. That's it. I, I listened to the history of the Jews and the Hebrews, which Israelites, we are part of Abraham's seed. We are part of it. Just point blank. That's it. If you got history on it, give it. We lo I love to learn, but I just don't love when somebody try to take away from the word. I'm not with that. I'm not going to try to have all these um, bondage of mindsets and bondage of you should this and bondage of you should that. Listen, we are the children of the free and that's where we're going to be. Free. Now, I love to listen to different, you know, people speak on our father. That's cool with me. But just don't try to take away from any part of any of any book with any scriptures just please don't do so it's not cool leave it alone just let it go i meditated with the father about this and you know as uh the jays come in as they say the 1800s that's when the j came in okay we know him by jesus i know him now by yashua hamashiach ruah hakadash that that's in hebrew because we know that our Lord and Savior was a Hebrew. That's cool. I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that. I give him his real name. That's what it is. 
I, don't, I wouldn't take from his real name. If the word stated another way, oh well. But I'm not going to throw away the word. I'm not, I'm not going to just say, leave the word alone and da-da-da. I'm not going that way. I'm going to follow the Holy Ghost. And if the Holy Ghost says it's okay to read, I'm reading it. But I will learn the history of the Hebrews because we are Hebrews. I have, I have a real lively spirit. I, I mean, my spirit is just booming on camera, off camera, around anybody that you know of me. They'll say that girl is old or that woman, girl, whatever they want to call me, as long as they know I am a female. Her her spirit is so vibrant. I am just, I know for a fact, I am just very high spirit. Always been that way. Always been high spirit. Always full of joy. Always, you know, loving and caring, helping others. Even when I know the person is lying to me, I'd be like, why would you even lie to me? But when I, like with me, and I'm going to switch to another topic. Like with me, I love children. I love children children i mean love children i it, it a children a child just have a soft spot in my heart like i love kids i love them enough too to give them back now i'm not trying to <laughs> i'm not trying to keep a whole lot of kids but i love them you know i love their voices i love their innocence and, and I, it feels like when I'm around them, they can get whatever, you know. And a child ain't going to ask for a whole bunch unless somebody instill in them to become greedy. Yeah, that's the thing about children. Their innocence is superior. Their, their innocence is very grandiose to me. They deserve nothing but love and, and nourish, nourishment. You know, nourishing. Nourish them. And... I love adults, but adults just want to believe what they want to believe. They want you to believe what they want you to believe. As the words say, the Holy Spirit teaches you everything once you get baptized by him. No man can teach you anything. I don't have nothing against listening to different channels. But when some channels say they don't believe in Christ, the anointed one, our Lord and Savior, then guess what? We know what Lord we're talking about. Satan just take things and copy it. He's a copycatter. He is a counterfeit spirit. So if you call somebody Lord, they'll be like, oh, you talking about Baal? Look, you know, know people by their fruit. You know a person by their fruit. You know what demonic spirits bring forth, and you know what our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh bring forth. Go to Galatians 19 through 21, and then you can go to Galatians 5, 22 through 24. When you read Galatians 5, 19 through 21, there's a lot of things that demons bring forth that get you in, cap in captivity, that bind you. But the Holy Spirit got few things as our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach say, his burden is, he, his yoke is light. He make our burdens easy, believe me, he do. If I'm, if I'm quoting that right, because I'm driving, so I'm just giving a little small pep talk. Love the Father which arts in heaven. He is the only God, if you want to call him God, so be it, as long as you know you're talking about the Father that's on the throne. You know that the God of this world with the Lord Case G, he ain't no real God. The Father just give him authority a little bit to just um, seek how much he can persuade others. Not follow me. I don't, I don't understand what the Father do and I try not to understand. I try not to go and tamper with some with the father's doings and his purposes of why he do what i just live and live for him every day i wake up and every day i move around i live for him that's just point blank period period and you can carry the period down the long line until you die i live for my father which arts in heaven the father of this world is not part of me i'm in this world for a reason the father baptized me or gave me a new birth for a reason not to sit here and cut y'all down um throw humans under the bus 
make you believe what you want to believe. If you read the King James Version, read it. If you read the NIV Version, read it. If you read a new translated version, read it. Look, as long as you know who you serve, who do you serve? I read that scripture yesterday in uh, Joshua 24, 15. On this day, who do you serve? Good or evil? And you can't serve the Father the way you want to. Now, you can serve Satan the way you want to, but you cannot serve our Almighty Father, which arts in heaven sit on his throne at the, cre the Creator. Not the universe. He created the universe, but the Creator. But if you want to call him the universe, oh, do it. He created it. So be it. You, as long as you know who you're talking about. But as long as you know the Father and Son is one and the Holy Spirit. Go to Matthew 28. Now, it's good to learn about the history of the Hebrews if you are born again. It's good. I'm, I don't knock that. Learn it. Because I do. I listen to a lot of things. I, I'm now starting next year. Amazon, I'm going to start ordering some Jewish and Hebrew, Hebrew books because I am now part of Abraham's seed. Probably always have been, but I didn't acknowledge that because I always was a strict person and people thought I was mean because I always had boundaries. I always moved in a peculiar way all my life, but didn't know about the chosen. Didn't know about being the father's child. I didn't know about that stuff because I was around nothing but demonic people all my life that tried to keep me away from the truth. But now that I know the truth, now that I know that I am born again with the true Holy Ghost, not the Holy Ghost of the world, not the Antichrist, not the, not the pretend, to, to pretend to be born again. I am truly born again. I got born again in June 2019, which was one painful born, uh, being birth, birthed again. That was a painful birth. It's not a, it's not a, a feel good birth. It's not a feel good birth. I just think about it. I'm sorry. I, I just, it just gave me a, a starfish a moment. Like, just to think of when I, um, my transformation. Man, when I was transgressing. Wow. Yeah, that's deep. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Because when I talk about that and when I think on it or even when I bring it up or when I'm riding some days and I think about it our father is really up there Yahshua really is the only begotten son the Holy Spirit is truly real and he talks to us faithfully the ones that is chosen he talks to us faithfully he give us revelation even when we don't even see it coming they are the father is amazing he's very ma majestic majestic if i'm saying it right it's so early me and words got to start i got warm up my words i really don't like doing too much talking i really love my peace i really love my <laughs> A long time with the father, but it's time for me to get up out and do my purpose in the world. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I really don't want to. I talk to the father all the time about it. Like, dad, you know, once you get healed and it's like you hold on to the father leg. Like, you know, I be just sitting in the house some days just, you know, seeking when I meet him. You know, seeking how I'm going to embrace him, how I'm going to just love him, hug him, cherish him. All my focus is going to be on him because once you really encounter the supernatural life, you will never, ever be the same again. When people say, um, don't turn back, if you're really baptized with the Holy Spirit, you ain't finna turn back whatsoever. That ain't even in your mindset. That's not even in your heart, your spirit, because the Father give you a new heart, a new mind, and a new spirit. So you ain't even go, even go back because you're not faking it. 
This is real. The Holy Spirit is not powerless. I say it all the time. He is very powerful. He is the Father. You have the Father Spirit in you now, you know? But like I said, if you love the Lord and you are truly baptized with the true spirit, you're not going to turn back. You're not going to do evil because now you are righteous. You are, you are perfectly of the Father. And that's in 1 John. And I read a little bit to you. Believe me, the word is true. Now, with the words of what they call Chapter Jesus, John, and <laughs> I always read it. <laughs> I always audio it to the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness and show unto you that I eternal really life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. And that's where I want to leave that at right there. Um, I just want to read. I just wanted that y'all to hear that because it can read it more better than me this morning. I'm just getting cranked up in um my morning. Um, and then Sabbath. So everybody have a great Sabbath. Um, the Father is light. So once we get cleansed from all our sins by his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, we are part of them now. We are cleansed from all unrighteousness. We have the spirit within us. We are now Israelites. We are now part of the Hebrew tribe. We are part of the Father. We are part of his son. That's just simple. You can't get no better than that. It, it, I don't even know why things are made a conflict of the of our Father's word when it's right there, plain in in plain sight. People just want to be heard. People just want to debate, and that's in the word too. As Paul said, we should not even be debating. We should not even be answering foolish questions, jesters, and you know, going back and forth on the word. That's what a lot of people are doing. We should not be doing it. We should be the salt of the world, walk in the light, and walk as the light, and keep moving. Now, if somebody got a question, point them to the word. It's time for people to get up and do what they need to know. If you want to know something, read. If you want to know the Father, pray, repent. Turn from your sins and follow him. That's it. It's just that simple. It's going to be hard because Satan don't want nobody to come out of that dark kingdom. I had so many attacks on me in my lifetime. When I got awakened in 2019, them attacks came so hard. I'm just now coming out of all these attacks. And it's been, I've been three years in. But now that I know the truth and I am um, I am built stronger and more stronger and more stronger in the spirit. Now that I'm understanding the attacks. And now I understand how Satan moved through humanity. How Satan used humanity. How his little demon buddies used humanity. I get it. But at first it was so hard. It was. It was just so hard. I was like, follow them, I'm going to whip them. I'm going to fight them. They're going to take me out. I'm going to take them out. Because you never know what's going to happen. But when he start moving me, not me moving me, the spirit moves you. You can't overpower the spirit. Just like if you don't have the spirit, you can't overpower Satan. 
Satan is the one with the greater sin. So anybody think that they can defeat anything in this world or they can defeat evil or they can defeat anything without having our father with them. I'm sorry for you. You are being defeated. You're being deceived. Okay. But much love. Love each and every one of you. I will be doing live soon. I'm getting this thing with my computer. You know, I, I, the tax was coming strong. And now I, I got a little oh, to get everything where it need to be. And I will get my computer. I need a window 10. I had me a Chromebook. I thought I ordered a window 10, but I ordered a, I ordered a Chromebook. So once I get all that popping and get it where it need to be i will be starting doing lives if it be in 2023 or at the end of december whatever but i'm getting everything under control so y'all just bear with me i will be doing some lives and um we can we can talk we can learn from each other i'm still in my learning process i'll be learning until i die you feel me but i learn from the holy spirit now if you know something about the father that I don't know, which I'll go to the Father and ask. If you tell me something, I really do go in in prayer and meditation, with, um, which I meditate all day. I'm a loner. I am a straight, straight loner. People be wondering why I don't want to be with somebody or in due time, whenever the Father send me that husband, then I'll be, we'll be one. But until then, I'm one alone in the flesh. But in spirit, I'm with the Heavenly Father. I'm part of the kingdom. I'm a steward for the Father. I'm a daughter of the Father. I am not a woman of God. I'm a child of God. That's where we're going to keep it. Everybody else, you can keep what you want. Y'all can debate about the word. You can do whatever you want to do with the word. Siobhan ain't finna do it. Siobhan just love her father. I embrace my father. I truly stand for my father. I love the Trinity and it's going to be no other. It, if you try to separate the father from the son, then that's between you and Satan. And when it's time for you to die, you go with Satan. Period. Other than that, I ain't got no questions on no other stuff. Well, tell me this, tell me that. Read. Read whatever book you want to read, but read. And you get the um, revelation for yourself. And if you are of the spirit, you are, you'll be on the same page as I am. Just, just that simple. Peace, blessings, and love to all.